good options for us. So, in summary, do, we have a, do you have a problem? I don't know if you have a problem, but there are a few questions you can ask yourself to kind of think about, am I, am I overusing, am I using more than I think that I really should be? Can you go to the football game and not have a beer? Can you go to the wedding and not have a glass of wine? Will you go if they're not serving alcohol to this event you want to go to? If your answer is no, you, you need to scratch your head and say, well, what's going on here? Because we should be able to go and make a choice. But to say, I can't go if they're not having alcohol, oh, I might have a problem. Can you have fun without having a buzz? Do you have to have a couple of beers to let your hair down? Or not? I actually got cut off <laughs> over at Pleasure Island at Disney because I was having too much fun. They wouldn't serve me alcohol. They were bound and determined that I was drunk. I, had my, I, I went to the manager and said, you need to pull up my tab. I'd had two Diet Cokes. They wouldn't serve me a, a Kahlua coffee because I was having too much fun. Can I have fun without getting a buzz? Absolutely. <laughs> do I meet people that can have fun without getting a buzz? Yeah, they, they can't do it. I got to have a couple beers to let my hair down. Okay. Have others told you you need to slow down? Do you realize you've already had, why don't you get some food? Why don't we get a bite before we have any more? How about some pretzels, some bar nuts? <laughs> if others have made nice, friendly comments about your use, you know, that should send your little antenna up. What's going on with me? Are you having a problem with the relationships with people around you that are important to you? Mom, dad, your partner, your kids? boss, co-workers, friends. The more conflict we have around us and we're a user of alcohol or drugs, you have to think about, you know, maybe it is my use that is part of why, because I don't have the ability to listen. Have I had a DUI? You'd be amazed at the number of people I have talked to that have DUIs and still don't have a problem. I had one client, he had three in 32 months, didn't have a problem. The police, the police followed him. They would wait for him. They knew his car, and they would see him, and they would just pull him over to check. I'm like, I don't think that we have anybody on the police force that's assigned specifically to you. I think you're, I think you're making poor choices. Blackouts. Blackouts. Now, I'm not talking about what you're messing, saying you don't want to remember because you're embarrassed about that poor choice you made and because you were under the influence. I mean truly where... Somebody t is telling you stories about something that went on when you were drinking and you don't remember. You passed out and you wake up somewhere, you don't remember how you got there. That's a problem. That's an indication of enough alcohol that you went into an amnesic state. You, prob you probably were walking around doing and saying things, but you truly here have no memory. That happens at about 0.28, which is about what, 10 or 12 servings in an hour. And we'll still move around. These are those trash people. <laughs> you can tell that they're loaded. They won't remember tomorrow, but they'll be hung over. Okay. Those, are, those are signs that you might have a problem. Okay, I'm going to open it up for questions now, so I'm going to turn the camera off. And again, I'm Carrie Pillay, and we've been talking about substances and anger. Okay, thanks.